up guys Chris from more cast so I'm back over here at 19th Street in Boca Grande and today's actually a really special day for me and the boys because it is the maiden voyage of their kayak so me and the boys are gonna go out on the kayaks today we're gonna see how they like it see if they want to interested in getting maybe one of their own one day but they're gonna go out in their kayak we're gonna go out to the flats we're gonna try to get some trout try to get some you know snook some redfish see what can bite but we're mainly focused on how they're gonna do in the kayak. So we're gonna get out here, try to catch some fish and try to have a fun day. See you guys soon. So we can either go to like the pond area or we can fish this. Do Don't matter to me, bud. Oh. I've got something following me. Oh, got him. Trout. Oh, he's caught on my net. Yeah, it's like an oil base. It's all right. Nope. All right, you're just gonna smell like that for a while. Hang on, bud. Hang on. Hang on, bud. Let my hand so I can grab him. This moonwalker's been doing great. <clears throat> all right so i just released him he was about 14 and a half inches wasn't too big this moonwalker has been a great top water so far easy to handle it in the kayak oh wow you guys are standing up yeah. it's that stable yeah. holy cow can't believe you guys are already standing up in that thing how stable is it stable. yeah It's not gonna be as stable as a John boat. I'm surprised. Just be careful, cause remember, one false move and you're going over. Oh, Riley's hooked up. Your first, first fish in the kayak. Trout. That's what it's acting like. Remember, if you you make it flip, you flip your brother too. Look at that thing. Wet your hands first. Oh. Alright, I'm gonna get set up so I can take a picture. Go ahead and toss them back. Here, let me see it. Yeah. That yeah, won't paddle, right? If you want to use it like that, you can. What I do when I stand, I stand on this. Let me see it. Would I have to get a new one? No. Let me just reset the hook. 
Yeah, you went way too, you came out too far here. I did? Yeah. I normally go to the, uh... Nope, that's too far, that's too far in. Bending? I'm telling you that it's not going to swim right. If you want to leave it like this, you can, but it's not going to swim right. right. Because this is the joint of the paddle. You want it to come out up here, not back here in the tail. Okay. You, you see how you only go in a little bit. That's it. Just that little bit. It's a three inch bait. You came in way down here. That's like almost a whole half an inch difference. <clears throat> and it's easier to put on the tip. So when you come up and out, through the fins where you're supposed to come out so your pat your tail has free action so if you want to do what you normally do you can do that but that is how it's supposed to be rigged that's the proper way oh. feels nice dude I'm not snook I think it's just a really big trout. Yeah, it's not too big because I was pulling. No, it might be right on 15, maybe 14. We'll check. That's on the beer run though. Put my hands. Got this guy on the beer run. Battle tail. Get him off. Flopping around a lot. All right, let's measure him. The kids want some trout. After I made that trout the other night, it was really good. He's 14. He's not big enough. 14 and a half. All right, so he's not big enough. We're gonna go ahead and let him go. You still hooked into it? What is that? You got a lizard fish? See? Yeah, you got a little lizard fish. Look at that. Oh, it's okay. And see, that's why we got the paddle leash on it. Because your paddle fell. That's all right. Nice. First yeah, fish in your kayak. So I made the bad idea. Oh, I wouldn't have done that. Yep, that would have been a bad idea. All right. So we're pulling up to this island real quick. Going to take a quick break. It's been about couple years since the boys have been on this island last time we camped so they're excited to see what the island looks like after the hurricane so we're on pull up on this island take a quick lunch break even though we've only been out here for like an hour and a half let the kids rest their arms a little bit see you guys soon
slack in your line. That's how it's getting off. That's a nice trout. You keep you keep putting slack in your line. That's why you keep they were getting off. Wet your hands. Oh, oh, there he goes in the water. It's okay. I was about to ask you. And he he got it right out of that pothole too. You got him right out of that pothole. But sit down next time so you can control him and use the net. You have a net, also. Because if you try to pick him up standing up, and he has dropped, he hit the bottom of your boat now, you're injuring the fish. Probably didn't hurt him that bad, but. I think he dropped, he dropped because it tore a hole. And I think because you were putting too much pressure on him by trying to pull him up in the boat instead of just getting him in the net. So My next time, are, next time use seen. your net. Oh, that's a nice one. Trout, yeah. He's all right. He looks like he's going to be short, but we'll see. My hand's wet. But it's definitely on the side of his mouth down far. Looks like he's too it looks like he's gonna be close. So if they're right on 15, you don't really want to keep them because once you put them on ice, they'll, they'll shrink. He looks like he's gonna be about 15, maybe 14 and a half. I don't think it's 16. Nope, not even, just barely on 15. So once you put him on ice, he'll shrink, yeah. Oh, there he goes. Mine was bigger than that. Yeah, yours was a little bigger. You should have kept it. What is that? I don't know. You caught a penfish? Catch your bait, bait. use your bait. <laughs> Look at that little thing. Here, you want a picture of it? Another one. Sit down, use your net. There you go, there you go. Nice. Wet your hands, yep. Yeah, you let them eat it a little too long. Nice. Wet your hands always before you touch the trout. Why does it? It looks like you, it helps keep the slime on them. Yep. Why do they have? Good to job. Have it protects them from parasites and stuff. Nice. Don't put your finger in there. <laughs> All right, we were trying to get a picture of his fish and it flopped out into the water. But it looks like we found a nice little honey hole here, so we're gonna keep fishing here. A, that, that's why. Look, there's a pothole right there to your yeah. left. <laughs> That's why you guys are catching them out of there. Thirty of them right under us. Nice. Did you get your loop knot or no? Uh, I didn't. It didn't turn. So then retie it. Retie it. Yeah. Every 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 fish. It takes I know. five seconds to retie a loop knot. You guys are right in that right in that pothole. I can't even touch it because right there to you guys. Oh, there's another one right in front of me. I can see yeah, it now. Oh, there we go. They're all about the same size. I got it, bud. They're all about the same size. Yeah, he's about 15 too. None of these are really keepers. There we go. Oh yeah. 
use this. It's in the roof of his mouth. Yeah, he's he's small. He's not 15. He's about 14. You don't have to check your leader with the uh, trout, but they don't have the gill plates to fray you up. these up into the back of the truck now it was a good day out here boys how'd you like your kayak fun. you guys liked it yeah we had fun out here we all caught some fish you know none of them were big enough to bring home but we all we had fun the boys got to test out their kayak and they know now we're gonna start doing some modifications to their kayak so you guys follow my channel and you guys will be able to watch their kayak grow kind of like mine did mine started out bare bones and i had a lot to it did a lot to it so we're gonna start doing stuff to their kayak too because they do like it, but it was a fun day out there. And just remember there's always time for one more cast. One more cast. I'll see you guys later.